Hi guys, this is Mr. Delicious, the traveling tutor and coach. And this is now our video number three for the grade 12 advanced mathematics students. And we are doing still the paper one for the advanced mathematics students. And we are now moving into question number seven and number eight for this video. So two question, but it's worth one mark each only. And this is the last part for part A of paper one, one mark each. So let's now start with question number seven for one mark only for the grade 12 advanced mathematics uh, students here in preparation for your national examination. Okay, so our question number seven is on this topic uh, indices, initial equation, okay? Initial equation, if you notice that one, <clears throat> initial equation, uh, solve for x, solve for x means you are going to find the value of x, and, of, and it's, the expression is 2 to the power of x equals 1 over 16. So this one is worth one mark, so it's very easy to do. <clears throat> okay, let me erase this part here first. This is now question we are now into question number seven um, part a of paper one grade 12 advanced mathematics okay this is question number seven okay so the expression in initial e e uh, equation is 2 to the power of x equals 1 over 16 so how do we do this one very short, very uh, straightforward for one mark. All you need to do is, this is uh, the, the uh, expression or the pronumeral x is located in the index uh, form, <clears throat> in the index uh, location, okay? In the power position, okay? And 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 16. So... You can rewrite this because this is our unknown here. And this expression here is going to be 1 over... If you are encountering a fractional uh, uh, <coughs> value, in order for you to express that one in initial expression, you try to, you try to uh, get the exponential or in index form of the value 16. So that means uh, in, in which the base is 2. So what would be, if the base is 2, what would be the index so that when you simplify this initial expression equals 16? Okay, so that will become 4, meaning that you are going to multiply this base 2 by itself 4 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and it should give us 16. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So that means that the initial ex uh, expression for 16 is 2 to the power of 4. Okay, rewrite this one again, 2 to the power of x is equal to when you try to solve the value for the uh, unknown pronumeral x, all you need to do is apply the law of indices. Okay, the law of indices, meaning that this value here, 2 to the power of 4, when you want to bring this one to the numerator, okay, the... Uh, sign of the index positive will become negative. That's the shortcut, okay? So that will become now 2 to the power of negative 4. If you want this one to become positive, then you just have to bring it down to the denominator and the negative sign becomes positive. So uh, that's how it is going to be done using the law of indices. Okay, so now we have these two to cancel. Therefore, our x value is equal to negative 4. 
That is now the final and correct answer for question number seven, worth one mark only. <laughs> but it does not, uh, it did not take long for you to work it out. But you have to be very fast. After all, advanced mathematics, grade 12 advanced mathematics stream students are already brilliant in mathematics. But watching this video tutorial uh, will also enhance more their pre uh, preparation for the national examination in October. Don't be overconfident, advanced, grade 12 advanced mathematics students. Okay? Now, let's proceed to question number eight. Question number eight is the last part of the uh, part A of paper one. Okay, let's start. I'll give you this time first. Five, four, three, two, and <clears throat> one. Okay, let's move now to question number eight for this video uh, number three, grade 12 advanced mathematics stream students <clears throat> this is question number eight worth one mark and what do you think would be the topic for question number eight okay so this is the question number eight grade 12 advanced mathematics students paper one year 2010 past exam paper and the question number eight is on the topic the uh, series and sequences so find the tenth term of the sequence. This is the sequence. First term is one. The second term is one over a. The second term is one over a square. And then dot, dot, dot. But you are asked to find the tenth term. Because the grade 12 advanced mathematics students uh, are provided with the uh, <coughs> uh, formulas, so it's just easy for you to check on the formula sheet and then uh, use the formula to find uh, or to calculate the 10th term. So what is the formula? Of <clears throat> the first thing that you should do is this is the sequence given 1 and then 1 over a comma 1 over a square comma and then dot dot. You are asked to find, the required here is you are asked to find the 10th term. <clears throat> That's the 10th term. The question now is, the first thing you should do is to find the first term. First term symbol is A. Okay, and the first term is 1. And the next one that you are going to find is, uh, the question there is, is this a common, uh, is this a uh, arithmetic sequence or geometric sequence? Okay, so if it is arithmetic sequence, then you have to find the common difference or a small letter D. And if it is a geometric uh, sequence, then you have to find the common ratio or the R. But it is very obvious that if the first term is 1, and the second term is 1 over a, and the second term is 1 over a square, then it's very obvious that the sequence is geometric. Okay? So if it is geometric, then our r is, <clears throat> remember that common ratio r is equal to the second term divided by the first term. If the second term is 1 over a, 1 over a divided by one, uh, sorry, a, this is a, divided by 1, then our common ratio is 1 over a. 1 over a. This is our common ratio. So the common ratio is 1 over a. <clears throat> okay? Then, the formula, therefore, therefore, the formula of the 10th uh, <clears throat> term or the nth term, the nth term formula is equal to, for the uh, geometric, uh, for a geometric uh, sequence is A times R uh, N minus 1. 
and minus 1. So you don't need to memorize the formula because the formula is provided. All you need to do is take it out from the formula sheet and work it out in your rough paper. The 10th term, therefore, is equal to our A. The first term is 1. Multiply that 1 by our R, which is 1 over A raised to the power of our N. N stands for the number of terms. So that would be now 10 minus 1. Okay, so the 10th term for one mark is equal to <coughs> 1 over a to the power of, so this is 1 times this one, so this is 1 over uh, a to the power of 10 minus 1 is 9. So what would be now the final answer? The final answer now, therefore, is, you see there, is the 10th term is equal to 1 over a to the power of 9. This is now the final and correct answer for one mark. Uh, question number 8. Paper 1, the last question for part A of Paper 1, Advanced Mathematics, uh, grade 12 students. Okay? So this is Mr. Delicious, and good luck to all of you, grade 12 students. And any students who encounter this kind of topic, you enjoy even grade 10. They, they have this kind of topic also for grade 10 students. So it's best that you are watching all my video tutorial in preparation for your national examination. This is Mr. Delicious. Bye for now. Tata. -ta.